Sarah MP and a great supporter of LGBT equality. Thank, thank you very much. Um, I've just come from inside the chamber. It's actually been a very emotional day. I've sat through about four and a half to five hours of debate. And at one point, I was almost tearful listening to a Conservative MP uh, discussing why he'd gone through a civil partnership, how he stands in the same queue as me and people from other parties to get his tea, to go and vote, and why should he stand in a different queue uh, in order to get marriage. And that, I could see on the faces of some Conservative MPs, really brought it home to some people of what this is all about. It's about parity of esteem between all of us. Uh, and that includes members of Parliament. And what was really great today was to hear gay and lesbian uh, MPs speaking from the heart about their own personal experiences and what this means for them and other parliamentarians could relate to that, as well as what it means for all of our constituents who uh, would like this change to take place. Um, I wasn't expecting to speak here, so I'm making this up as I go along. <laughs> um, I think it's really great that we're going to have members of parliament from all parties uh, in the House of Commons tonight voting in favour of this change, including um, some from Northern Ireland who represent you know, very divided communities, uh, Mark Durkin, who's an SDLP uh, member of Parliament, who represents uh, Derry in Parliament, who therefore must have more Catholic constituents than anyone in Parliament, saying this is a matter of equality, it's not a matter of religion, and he's going to be voting for equal marriage tonight. And I wish some of my own uh, party colleagues had similar courage of their liberal convictions uh, rather than their religious beliefs uh, and could be with us uh, in, in the Yes lobby tonight. But I'm sure, I'm sure the vote is going to be passed, it's going to be passed with a huge uh, majority uh, and it's a great day uh, for democracy and equal rights today and thank you to all of you who've done whatever you've done to, to make this possible.